said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy. I'm Anthony Walker and this is Unsung, the nonprofit news magazine show that features news and events from our nonprofit community. And also the good things that you do. The weather is finally warmed up here in Pittsburgh. Today we're in PPG Plaza and the fountain behind me has come to symbolize summer in Pittsburgh. Kids are often seen dancing through the fountain to cool off on a warm summer day. Unsung has a lot to dance about in this edition. We have some dance moves from someone other than Heinz Ward in today's feature. And we will also take a look at the winners from Steeltown Entertainment Projects take a shot at changing the world. But first, let's take a look at what is happening in our community. Happy 30th anniversary to the Greater Pittsburgh Area Food Bank. They celebrated the momentous occasion on June 7th. Unsung would also like to wish CEO Joyce Ruthermel a happy retirement and thank her for her tireless service to our community. To honor Joyce's lifetime of service and keep her extraordinary vision alive, the Food Bank has created the Joyce Ruthermel Legacy Fund. Donations to this fund will keep the food bank strong and help feed hungry Pennsylvania families for years to come. To make a donation or to find out more, please visit pittsburghfoodbank.org. The 2011 Pittsburgh Foundation Wish Book is now online and available to the public. The Wish Book allows donors to fulfill nonprofit wishes for tangible items of $2,500 or less. Wishes include softball equipment for Western PA School for the Deaf's new team, artist materials for Artist Image Resources Mobile Outreach Program, tools for Rebuilding Pittsburgh Together's programs for low-income elderly homeowners, and many more. To view the wishes or make a donation towards fulfillment, please visit pittsburghfoundation.org slash wish underscore book. RiverQuest has launched Exploring Marcellus, a new educational program for fall and winter. A variety of hands-on activities, images, and group discussions are used to help tell the story of Marcellus shale and the basic science behind the process of hydrofracturing of shale to extract natural gas. As an informational and educational program, the content gives both the pros and cons of the topic. The session aims to provide or enhance participants' knowledge of the topic so that they can better understand what they read and hear about Marcellus Shale drilling and to fashion more informed opinions on the topic. Through the sponsorship of PA, the Department of Environmental Protection, and other regional foundations, this program is offered free of cost between November 2011 and March 2012. RiverQuest is a nonprofit educational organization that operates a river learning center for students, teachers, and the community of southwestern Pennsylvania. More information is available at riverquest.org. This is Mike Sorg with Unsung with a rare appearance in front of the camera uh, down here at the City County Building uh, where we're about to see a really cool flash mob going on uh, to support and bring awareness to CASA and everything they're doing. They're not just superheroes, they're also great dancers. Uh, today is Thursday, May 19th, and in honor of National Foster Care Month, CASA, along with the Allegheny County Department of Human Services, has partnered to have our second rally for children um, to not only honor our community's kids, but also those very special children who are in the foster care system, in foster care in Allegheny County. We're here to celebrate their successes and their resilience, and most importantly, their potentials. And we're here to support CASA. We're the co-sponsors of the Rally for Children today and excited about all the participation that we are um, getting for our event today. City is an organization um, that is sponsored by the Department of Human Services. And we are um, a group of young adults who are between the ages of 16 and 25 youth that have been involved in any child serving system of, the, of Allegheny County and we get together to help to um, affect change in any systems uh, that they are involved in. So with them as advocates for children in the system, we hope to make as many changes, positive changes to improve the outcomes for families. We're just very, very happy to be here and blessed that we had such a wonderful crowd for this wonderful, great initiative um, called Forgotten Children. 
Why a flash mob? Well, I think a lot of people, it's a very popular thing right now, as we all know. So I think a lot of people would love to be involved. We can capture the attention of more people that way as they walk around the city for lunch. So hopefully this will work very well. And we felt like the dance would be a great attention getter for the public. So that's why we chose it. And it seemed like it worked. We have probably double or triple the people we had last year. Three months of planning and it turned out wonderful because it's cool <laughs> and uh, we don't have many in Pittsburgh and uh, Dr. Goddess who's uh, Kimberly Ellis performed at the National CASA conference last year in Atlanta and we were so lucky to see her and we partnered with her and this is actually part of her brainchild so we're so grateful because we think dance is very celebratory and that's what we're here to do is celebrate children. And I'm just telling you that the spirit and the energy of literally a thousand people in that ballroom, it was overwhelming because you had so many people who care about children and who care about our children's welfare on a higher level and on a deeper level because they engage themselves every single day. A lot of people don't listen to kids in foster care and that's why CASA um, works very hard to be a voice for children. Um, it was a great collaboration. Um, we hope to work with them at next year's rally. Date to be announced. Please check our website at www.pgh-casa.org. And also if you're interested in learning about the many ways you can help children in foster care, visit our Forgotten Child website at wwwpgh casaorg slash forgotten. Steeltown Entertainment Projects Take a Shot at Changing the World contest was inspired by the new film The Shot Felt Round the World, which documents the remarkable seven years in which the Salk team pulled together with the community of Pittsburgh to develop the polio vaccine and conquer the most feared disease of the 20th century. Calling all volunteers. In a groundbreaking development, Dr. Jonas Salk and scientists at the University of Pittsburgh have created a vaccine that could potentially protect our children from poliomyelitis. Utilizing three dead forms of the polio virus, this new vaccine has shown positive results in early testing. The first trial included 600 school children in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, many of whom have demonstrated increased resistance to paralytic polio after receiving the vaccine. Now, the National Federation and public health officials believe it's necessary to expand trials all over the country. Scientists from the National Federation will be visiting schools and administering the vaccine with your consent. If positive results continue, the vaccine will be made available to the general public. With your help, this vaccine can save millions. Volunteer your children today. Hey, so I'm learning about polio in school. Polio? I mean, what's polio? Well, it's a disease that was really bad like 60 years ago. When I say bad, I mean really bad. Thousands of people got this infection and all of a sudden they couldn't walk, run, jump, or anything. Their legs were as useless as jello. In fact, one of our presidents had polio. Yeah, one Franklin D. Roosevelt had polio. Anyway, so I'm hearing about how bad this virus is and I'm thinking, man, it would suck to get polio. I mean, how would I be able to play basketball? Sort of. So I protect myself. I grab a bottle of hand sanitizer. I mean, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses, right? So I'm walking home from school and this guy's limping down the street. Now I get scared. What if he has polio? What if the small virus thingies fly across the street like a swarm of angry bees? No way. I sprint home, but wait. What if someone with polio used a doorknob? So I finally get into my house and I collapse onto the couch exhausted. And I think to myself, wow. I need to relax. Maybe I should go for a swim. So I grab my bathing suit and head out to the swimming pool. And I'm about to dive in when I think to myself, wait a minute, look at all these people. What if I get polio from swimming with them? So I turn around and run home, avoiding everything. The contest invited middle school and high school students from southwestern Pennsylvania to use their creativity to create their own short videos about polio. The top four videos, based on a popular vote and a judge's vote, received a cash prize of $1,000. And the grand prize winner, based on a combination vote, received a total of $5,000. Prize money is split between the filmmakers and their school. The winning video will air on WQED and be posted on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation website. More information is available at steeltown.org. Even though 
he had passed away, you remember what he did every day. The innovative Tell Me Pittsburgh Storytelling Series returns to Brickell Lodge Theater at 937 Liberty Avenue on June 30th at 7.30 p.m. with Give Me Hope, stories about overcoming obstacles. The audience is invited to participate by sharing their ideas via text, Twitter, or the live blog during the event. Give Me Hope is free to the public, but reservations are strongly recommended as seating is limited. More information is available at pittsburghfoundation.org slash tell underscore me underscore Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra returns to Pittsburgh's Hill District for a fourth annual community engagement concert at 7 p.m. Tuesday, June 14th at the Kaufman Center. Assistant conductor Thomas Hong leads an orchestra comprised of PSO musicians in a program featuring PSO violinist Sylvia Kim, a soloist in Beethoven's Romance No. 2 in F major for violin and orchestra, and Chrysler's Liebesfrug. The program will also include music by Rossini, Gershwin, and Mozart. The Hill House Association acts as a host for the concert, and all tickets proceeds benefits the arts programs of the Hill House Association. Tickets can be purchased by either calling 412-392-6479, or you can purchase them at the door on the night of the concert. WYEP's 14th Annual Summer Music Festival at Shenley Plaza is a night of free, live performances that's open to everyone. This year's headliner is Eli Paperboy Reed with Fits in the Tantrums, Jukebox the Ghost, and Big Hurry. There is a, a kids area and an I Made It Market. More information on the event is available at wyep.org. June is Adopt-A-Cat Month and Animal Friends. If you're looking for a furry companion, Animal Friends will waive adoption fees for cats that are two years or older. More information is available at thinkingoutsidethecage.org. And just a friendly reminder, but Red Up Thread Up is on its way. Here's Jenny Roth with more information. The event is on June 11th from 12 to 6 p.m. at 120 Federal Street on the North Shore. People who donate clothing get a tote bag for $5, and anyone else is welcome to purchase a tote bag for $10, fill it with as much stuff as you'd like. It fits a lot. Um, anyone and everyone is welcome. Please come down. It's the same time as the Arts Festival, so there should be people out and about, and I expect to see you all there. This edition of Unsung definitely had style. You can see more episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on PittsburghOnVideo.org. Let us know how you make a difference in the community, and be sure to add your comment to this and our other videos. I'm your host, Anthony Walker, and it's time for me to go play in the fountain. So, we'll see you next time. Keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. In a lab rockin' with the Fresh Prince of Pittsburgh. Shoot, it's the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's playing. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. Shoot, it's the new way. Hope you got your shoes laid. Here to change the music game and give it a new face. I'm taking someone, don't care who's playing. Cause dude's fake and I'm here to give a true taste. I know my name.